Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial, Functional Analysis Class Number 37. In this video, we learn a theorem. Let us see the statement. If capital M is a proper, subs proper closed subspace of a Hilbert space capital H, then there exists a non-zero vector Z0 in H satisfying the condition Z0 is perpendicular to capital M. Let us prove this statement. Let capital H be a Hilbert space and capital M be a closed linear subspace, closed linear subspace of capital H. <coughs> capital M be a closed linear subspace of capital H. Okay. In the statement we have proper capital M B A proper closed linear subspace of H. So right. Then it is a proper subspace. Then there exists a vector. Then there exists a vector X not in capital M. Then there exists a vector not in capital M. Now let us define D is equals to distance from x to capital M which is equals to infimum of norm x minus y such that y belongs to capital M. By previous theorem then there exists a unique vector then there exists a unique vector by using previous theorem I mean in video number 36 then there exists a unique vector y naught in capital M, in capital M, satisfying the condition norm x minus y naught is equals to D. Norm x minus y naught is equals to D. Right. Since, since y is arbitrary, y is arbitrary in capital M and x does not belong to capital M, which implies as x not equals to y. If x not equals to y, then norm x minus y greater than 0. If norm x minus y greater than 0, by definition, d greater than 0 because d is equals to norm x minus y. So, d greater than 0. Now, let us take, let us take z not is equals to x minus y not. Then, norm z not is equals to norm x minus y naught. Norm x minus y naught is equals to d which is greater than 0. Therefore, norm z naught is greater than 0. That is, z naught, that is, z naught is a non-zero vector. Z naught is a non-zero vector in capital H. Now, we can show that. Now, we can show that this Z0 is perpendicular to capital M. This Z0 is perpendicular to capital M. To show that Z0 is perpendicular to capital M, it is equivalent to show that Z0 is perpendicular to Y for all Y belongs to capital M. This is our aim to show that. Okay. To prove this, consider, consider, Z0 minus alpha y for some scalar alpha, which is equals to x minus y0 minus alpha y, which is equals to x minus of y0 plus alpha y, y0 plus alpha y. Now calculate their norm. Norm Z0 minus alpha y is equals to norm x minus y0 plus alpha y, y0 plus alpha y. <coughs> this is nothing but greater than or equals to d. It means, it means norm z0 minus alpha y is greater than or equals to d and it is greater than or equals to norm z0. So, simply you can write norm z0 minus alpha y is greater than or equals to norm z0. Norm z0. Squaring on both sides norm z0 minus alpha y whole square greater than or equals to norm z0 square. 
In the left side you can write norm z0 minus alpha y whole square is equals to z0 minus alpha y inner product of z0 minus alpha y comma z0 minus alpha y is greater than or equals to norm z0 square because remember that norm x square means inner product of x comma x by using the condition here norm z0 minus alpha y whole square can be written as inner product of z0 minus alpha y comma z0 minus alpha y so simplify the inner product which implies which implies inner product of z0 comma z0 minus alpha y minus inner product of alpha y comma z0 minus alpha y greater than or equals to norm z0 square again you repeat it by continu continuing this one inner product of z0 comma z0 minus inner product of z0 comma alpha y minus inner product of alpha y comma z0 plus inner product of alpha y comma alpha y greater than or equals to norm z0 square <coughs> inner inner product of z0 comma z0 norm z0 square minus alpha bar z0 comma in, inner product of z0 comma y minus alpha inner product of y comma z0 plus alpha into alpha bar inner product of y comma y greater than or equals to norm z0 square norm z0 square cancel on both the sides these two terms get cancel what you get here minus alpha bar minus alpha bar <coughs> inner product of z0 comma y minus alpha inner product of z0 comma y bar here inner product of y comma z0 i write it is inner product of z0 comma y conjugate plus alpha into alpha bar norm y square greater than or equals to zero let it be equation number one this is true for any value of alpha this is true this is true for any value of alpha this is true for, for any value of alpha so right taking now we continue now taking alpha is equals to now taking alpha is equals to beta into z not inner product of z not comma y comma where beta is real where beta is a real constant then alpha bar is equals to beta into inner product of z not comma y bar z not comma y bar now substituting these two in equation one we get in equation we get minus beta minus beta y comma z not z not comma y minus beta z not comma y z not comma y bar plus beta z not comma y beta y comma z not into y comma y inner product greater than or equals to zero so this is nothing but this is nothing but minus beta z not comma y bar z not comma y bar into z not comma y minus beta z not comma y to z not comma y bar plus beta square beta square z not comma y z not comma y bar into inner product of y comma y greater than or equals to zero so which implies is minus 2 beta inner product of minus 2 beta inner product of uh, z not comma y whole square because everybody knows that z into z bar is equals to z square so uh, minus 2 beta z not comma y whole square plus beta square mod inner product of z not comma y whole square into norm y square is greater than or equals to zero so this can be again by making beta beta 
mod inner product of z0 comma y whole square common we get beta beta norm y square minus 2 minus 2 greater than or equals to 0 equation 2 this is true this is also true let it be equation number 2 this is true for any arbitrary beta for any arbitrary beta <coughs> now we can show that z0 is perpendicular to capital m so to prove that z0 is perpendicular to capital m that is z inner product of z0 comma y0 is equals to 0 we can show that we can show that z0 is perpendicular to m which implies z0 comma y is equals to 0 for all y belongs to capital m if possible assume that if possible assume that if possible assume that inner product of z0 comma y not equals to 0 then then by taking beta by taking beta greater than 0 and beta less than 2 by norm y square equation 2 becomes then equation 2 implies here it is equation 2 see here this is we are defining as beta less than 2 into norm y square so beta into mod inner product of z0 comma y whole square into beta into norm y square minus 2 is equals to positive the first one is positive the second one is negative positive into negative so you get negative real number which is less than 0 which is less than 0 this is a contradiction this is contradict contradiction to equation 1 so our assumption our assumption ain't it? our assumption inner product of inner product of z0 comma y is equals to 0 is wrong thus 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 inner product of z0 comma y is equals to 0 which implies z0 is perpendicular to y which implies z0 is perpendicular to m z0 is perpendicular to m this here for all y belongs to capital m this completes the proof of this theorem keep learning in the next video we learn one more theorem